this is Algebra 2, Lesson 74. We're starting on page 309. We're going to talk about uniform motion with both directions given. Okay, on page 309, we have some graphs. If both directions are given, we can write two distance equations. Each of the equations will contain two unknowns so that two more equations will be needed. One regarding rates and one regarding time. So we're still doing rate times time equals distance. They're going to give us two distances and we need to come up with the formulas for the rates and the times. They're going to turn out looking just like the substitution problems we did a couple chapters ago. So now you can see where they came up with the formulas. Okay, so let's try the first example. Friar Tuck rode the 24 miles to the fair in Nottingham at a, at a least leisurely pace. He stayed too long at the fair and had to double his speed on the way back in order to get home in time. If his total travel time was 9 hours, how fast did he travel in each direction and what were the times? Okay. So the distance he traveled both times, his distance going to the fair was 24 miles. And his distance going back home is 24 miles. Okay? So, his rate going times his time going equals 24, right? Because rate times time equals distance. And his rate back times his time back also equals 24 miles. So here's equation A. Here's equation B. Now, we need a rate equation and a time equation. We know that he traveled to the fair at a leisurely pace, so that's his rate going, and his rate back was double the speed of, was double his speed in order to get back in time. So the rate coming back was twice as much as his rate going. So we can say for for equation C, that his rate back equals two times his rate going. Okay, we also know that his total travel time was nine hours. So that means that his time going plus his time back equals nine hours. And there are our four equations. So now we're going to substitute. Um, we are, we know we have things to substitute into here, so let's start with B. So we have RBTB equals 24, RB equals 2RG, and we can find TB TB is going to equal 9 minus TG, right? So we're going to substitute these two into here. So this is 2RG times 9 minus TG equals 24. Okay? Multiply this through. We have 18 RG minus 2 RGTG equals 24. And we know that RGTG also equals 24. So we have 18 RG minus 2 times 24 equals 24. So 18 RG minus 48 equals 24. We're going to add 48 to both sides and we'll have 18 RG 
G equals 72 and we divide both sides by 72 and RG equals 4 and we're doing miles per hour so miles per hour so that's RG and now we substitute all the rest of them in so RB equals 2 times RG and RG was 4 miles so RB is going to be 2 times 4 which equals 8 miles per hour okay we have RG times TG equals 24 RG equals 4 times TG equals 24 we divide both sides by 4 and TG equals that would be 6 hours don't forget the hours and the mi miles per hour okay and now we have TB equals 9 minus TG so TB equals 9 minus 6 which equals 3 so TB equals 3 hours and those are your answers Okay, let's try another one. Atalanta ran four times as fast as her latest challenger. In fact, she, wrote, she ran 80 miles in two hours less time than it took her challenger to run 28 miles. How fast did each of them run? And how long did they run? Okay, so the distance of Atalanta is 80 miles. And the distance of her poor challenger was 28 miles. Okay. So the rate of Atlanta times the time of Atlanta equals 80 miles because rate times time equals distance. The rate of the challenger times the time of the challenger equals 28. So here's B and here's A. We know that Atalanta ran four times as fast as her challenger. So C is R, the rate of Atlanta equals four times the rate of the challenger. And it took her two hours less to run her, her distance than it took her challenger. So D is time of Atlant Atlanta equals the time of the challenger minus 2. Okay, here are our four equations. And now we need to substitute. This time, let's start with A. So we have the rate of Atlanta times the time of Atlanta equals 80. We know that the rate of Atalanta equals four times the rate of her challenger. And the time of Atalanta equals the time of the challenger minus two. So we can substitute these two into these two. So this is four RC times TC minus two equals 80. We're going to multiply through and get 4RCTC minus 8RC equals 80. Okay, RCTC equals 28. So now we have 4 times 28 minus 8, the rate of the challenger, equals 80. Four times twenty-eight is one hundred twelve. Minus eight RC equals eighty. We multiply one hundred twelve by from both sides. I mean subtract, sorry. And minus 
8RC equals minus 32 divide by negative 8 and RC equals 4 and this is rate so it's miles per hour okay now we're going to substitute if RC equals 4 miles an hour and RA equals 4 times RC then RA is 16 miles per hour. Okay? If RC times TC equals 28, then 4 times TC equals 28. Divide both sides by 4. And TC equals 7 hours. And the time of Atlanta equals TC minus 2, which is going to equal 7 minus 2. So the time of Atlanta is 5 hours. Okay, so those are your four answers. The rate of the Challenger is 4 miles an hour. The rate of Atlanta is 16 miles an hour. The the time of the Challenger was 7 hours and the time of Atalanta is 5 hours. And that's it for that lesson. Try your practice problems and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks!